Good evening, friends. This is Old Schultz speaker. Coming to you with another vid on today's current affairs in America. This racism this keeps rearing its ugly head. This, this, this. God help us. See, I, what I want to tell you quickly before I get into the meat of the video. Is the further the country gets away from God, the more violent, perverted, it just just self righteous, just just ridiculousness like you see here now. It's just just awful. We need to put God back in our lives, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm not trying to push on you what I believe. I'm just talking. About we need to put God first because we're well. We know we're going to war. But the further away this country goes from God, the more weirder and dangerous the country becomes as you, as you are, 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 everyone is totally aware. Now, this is about this Black Lives Matter protest shooter, Alan Scarcella, was found guilty on all 11 felony, on all 11 accounts of felony assault and one riot offense for pulling the trigger and wounding five Black Lives Matter protesters in Minneapolis about 13 or 14 months ago. You, you, you see this kind of filth and disgust just goes on and on, you know, and we all forgot, just like one person said, her name was a, 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 a well-educated um, Caucasian lady. And a gentleman, per, uh, matter of fact, both of them were speaking, and he said, we are all immigrants. Some people were brought in the bottom of slave ships, as we all know. Some came on the Santa and Maria and what all the other, the, the Santa Maria and all this. <laughs> you know what I mean, the Mayflower. And some came another way. But the point of this is, we have to remember, this is all Indian land. Do you understand this? When we start thinking, getting in the, 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 the ridiculous, nonsensical idea that one race is better than another, this kind of sick, twisted behavior, do you understand? This is just awful. That man for thousands of years have not improved one eye order. Just more gadgets. I, I mean, let's be, this is it. People fighting for freedom. And this guy, and this. This, this this clown here, this buffoon, was actually, I'm, I'm reading it, I'm going to read it to you, I'm, just doing, I'm being honest, because I just got off of work, I mean, I, and, I, it, and it says here, his companions, the racist language he and his companions had that night used in the lead up and led up into the confrontation at a demonstration in the name of Jamar Clark. These include Scarcella's messages saying he was happy to get the same gun George Zimmerman had that killed Trayvon Martin. Do, do you understand how sick this is? Racism is a sickness. This is buffoon and one of many. And you have a lot of black people that are some that are racist too. But this kind of sick, twisted buffoon, you have to remember, you don't you are an immigrant too. He has to realize, do you understand what this country is doing after we've pulled away from God? How awful. And it's only going to get worse. We went to the safest places in America, our schools. Now they're one of the most dangerous places to go in. in I mean, children aren't safe. You have to watch malls. Because like ISIS said, they're glad Donald Trump is the new president. Because he's just making it easier to recruit. This is serious, where you have this kind of buffoonery in a live protest of thousands of people. How sick and twisted can you be upstairs? Why don't you go to Chicago, where you have all the gangbangers, all the dope slingers of all different ethnic groups and races? You would have got plenty of gunfire back. Why? No. Just like this Dylan Roof clown. They go in places where the people are not prepared to fight. That They are helpless. Do you understand? Now, I'm going to say something here. 
Who was it that said government in its best state is but a necessary evil? Don't you believe all the violence, a lot more that could be uh, a battled, or shall I say, uh, attacked by the government? But just like the like the the, the um, chief of police said in Chicago, that gentleman who, who took sick, they know who's doing that. It's about fourteen hundred people. They know who that. They know exactly who's doing that. When you remove the, the that fourteen hundred people, that element, that problem will almost disappear. It's the same case here. They know where these different groups are, all different ethnic groups. Don't you think somebody, a country that spent millions and millions of dollars watching and listening to everything you say, don't know who a lot of these people are? But this is a sickness that needs to be stopped. Don't you understand that? Do you know why one thing was awful? Did you hear what Donald Trump said himself about how Bush uh, uh, caused over tens of thousands of lives to be lost? Over there fighting in, in um in Iraq. Did you hear what he said? Did he call all those thousands of innocent lives to be lost? Because he went over there the other way. Wasn't he, he should have been over there in the first place? I mean, you listen to what Donald Trump said and wasted billions of dollars for nothing. He said on I mean listen to what this is what President Trump said. Now look let me tell you something. And, and I'm sorry I got away from the subject, but I'm going to show you how bad racism and hatred really is. You can't build up anything on a lie and expect it to last. Do you understand me? This is sick. This, 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 this clown here, it's like a disease almost. Do you see this, this, this? Now he has plenty of chances to spend the rest of his life in there proving how much he hates other races of people. It's a sickness, ladies and gentlemen. Racism is something that has to be taught. You are not born with that idea in your head. Because regardless of whether we like to say it, we're all human. Some of us a little more. Well, well I'll leave that alone. But it, it, how little man himself has improved. How little. Or should I say, not at all. Man without God will utterly destroy himself, just like he's on the verge of doing now. And it has been said by some of the, have you seen the, the, the nuclear clock? How close it is? Remember, who said that? Who is it that said, this notable uh, personality that said, there has never been a weapon used. There has never been a weapon created that has not been used. Racism is a sickness. Don't teach your child that. Teach them to treat everybody fair. What we need to do is stop. Well, we'll see which way Donald Trump goes. But from the way it's going now, it's very scary, ladies and gentlemen. You know how many people are in their grave because of racism? Remember, God never had a slave. Jesus never had a slave. We have to learn from our past. Those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. Let's, black folks, let me tell you something. Don't get caught up in all this racism and stuff. You know why, why I'm saying this? No, don't go to sleep. <laughs> That's right. You know what? We have to build our own communities. Teach our children business ideas. Worship God and business ideas. And teach them to love your, 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 your African American brothers and sisters. As well as uh, uh, your surrounding communities. Because it's going to take love. Hatred has caused every war there ever been. World War I also. World War II. This just hatred and sickness and greed. Which one of those you know, the Greek philosophers that said it, what, 3,000 years ago, that there's something wrong with man? What are your thoughts on this? How do we cure racism and race hatred? Oh, we got to do this. Somebody said, go back to Europe. Somebody said, go back to Africa. How? 
the idea of well, I've started to say something and that's in my next video. You know what's going on in most of the world? You know most of the world goes to bed hungry at night instead of putting God first and serving God and doing his will and teaching love to our fellow man and hate this racism and greed. Really? There has not been a nation or country yet that has not fell. And we're on our way spiraling down because we're a virtual house divided. Just racism and hatred and filth and disgust. We're better than this. God help us. God help us before it gets too late. And we're almost there, folks. I love you. God bless you. And keep those prayers. Pray for our country because we really need it. All I'm saying is racism is a sickness that has to stop. Everybody's blood is red. Oh, this one, that, oh, that one, that. I was looking at one, one video and, oh, you're a snow monkey. Oh, you're a, oh, what, a black monkey. Oh, it's just sick and twisted. And you have enemies of the country just sitting by laughing and looking at all this on social media. And they're thinking America is just this a filth and a disgust, but we're better than that. Remember, folks, pray for our nation and pray for just just pray that our leaders are for the people and not for big business. And fight, teach your children the ways of the Lord. So when they will get old, they will not depart to love one another and keep God first. And not, instead of thinking you're better than somebody else, that's the true making of a buffoon. And that's why the country is over well over 60 trillion dollars in debt now god help us we really need it